Hi guys, welcome to Yeti's Place. This is Yeti the Samiad and I'm Yeti's mom. And on today's episode, does your dog get excited to go on a walk? Up next on Yeti's Place. Sweetie, get out of there. So I have these treats here to lure Yeti because Yeti was much more content over by the air conditioning vent. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. So does your dog get excited to go on a dog walk? Well, I have a story for you guys about Yeti and his dog walks. So he walks about two miles a day, a mile in the morning with his dad, and then, what are you doing, dog? And then a mile at night with, with his dad. Again, occasionally, I will join them. At nighttime, they go and walk around the airport. And so Yeti and his dad go, get out of there, no more treats for you, Mr. Dog. So there's a trail that goes around the airport. Yeti gets super excited to go on the dog walk. He, he's like racing circles around in the family room, playing keep away with his dad, as his dad is trying to get him hooked up onto the leash. He spins around on the floor. When his dad gets close enough to put the leash on him, well, Yeti darts off all throughout the whole house barking and playing and everything else like that. The night that I decided to go on the dog walk, like I get him hooked up, bring him out to the car, and I get into the front seat of the car, into the passenger seat. Meanwhile, Yeti has to sit in the back seat. And Yeti does not like riding in the back seat of the car. Because when his dad drives the car, Yeti is always, always in the front seat. Yeti is not happy about that. So Yeti, of course, barks like crazy at me. And he'll be like this distance away from me. And he will bark, like full out bark at me, telling me, mom, get out of my seat. That is my seat. Mom, 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 you have to move. Even though it is not a dog seat, it is a passenger seat of the car. No, Yeti, get out of there. You cannot have more treats back there. Dog, no, no more treats. You've had plenty of treats. No more treats, no more. Yeti is barking in my ear. And then I turn around and I look at him and I tell him no! And I try to grab onto his, his leash to get him to sit and Yeti plays keep away from me in the car. Oh, he's a stinker. So we get out, open up the door, and there were people walking their dogs. Oh my goodness, Yeti is not neutered. So he gets really, really crazy around other dogs, male or female. So we have to always keep him under control big time whenever anyone else has a dog and whenever anyone else walks by because Yeti's like, oh boy, there's another dog. Hi guys, hi guys, you wanna play with me? You wanna play, you wanna play, you wanna play? <laughs> so we get around this corner, I see a baby deer, a fawn, standing like off in the distance and I'm like, uh oh, Yeti's just gonna go crazy. Yeti's dad sees the baby deer too and of course Yeti sees the baby deer full on sled dog mode, just starts pulling and almost yanks his dad's arm off and is pulling his dad across the field to get to this baby deer. Meanwhile, the baby deer is just standing there, like staring at Yeti approaching, like, oh my goodness, what is that big white thing coming toward me? And Yeti is bigger than the deer. As we get closer, like Yeti is practically airborne because he's pulling so hard. And you know, when, when a dog pulls really hard, front paws come off off the ground. We get closer to the baby deer and the baby deer decides that no way, I'm not playing with you and darts into the woods. Yeti, of course, wants to dart into the woods and oh, thank goodness my husband had him on the leash. Because if I had him on the leash, well, I'd be in the woods too, or missing an arm or both. So then at the end of the walk, we get into the car and it's like mid eighties outside. It's, it's really nice and warm and, and very pleasant actually. Yeti gets into the car <laughs> and he's squeaking because the car is so hot inside of the car. He just sits there and squeaks and squeaks and squeaks at us. Meanwhile, we have the air conditioner like cranked and we have the windows open too to try to cool him off. He's sitting there, this is so bad. And he's just squeaking like crazy at us. Meanwhile, he's squeaking in my ear. He's like hanging out on, on the armrest, squeaking. He's just a squeaking dog like everywhere in the car. So then finally, as we're getting close to home, it finally starts cooling off and up in the car where Yeti is comfortable and he stops squeaking and he just lays down. And the moment he lays down, we pull into the driveway. Oh boy, we're home. So then he gets out of the car, races inside the house to his water dish and inhales the entire dish of water. So that is what walking the Yeti is like on a daily basis. Oh, and then Yeti also raced underneath a bunch of pine trees 
got pine needles on him and he got some pine tar on him too so that grooming job that we did on him yeti come on you have to be cooperative no i'm not feeding this to you i'm not giving you this treat i just don't want you crawling behind me behave stop no you, you have to be a good dog be a good dog stop so most of the time i don't go on the dog walks with them and which is why yeti thinks that the front seat actually belongs to him yeti stop no i'm not giving you this treat i'm just holding it here so that you sit up and you be nice boy well thank you guys so much for joining us and please be sure to subscribe like and comment on our video down below hit that bell notification as well for the updates on new videos and we'll see you guys next time bye Ha, 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 ha.